back to her hometown, New York City. The actress who played Rhoda is with us today along with the woman who created the role of her sister, Brenda Morgan, Julie Kavner. Thank you very much, and thank you for being with us. I'm here with Valerie Harper and Julie Kavner, the stars of Rhoda, and what a pleasure. Gee, this reunion series has just been terrific. Memories, uh, <laughs> we're, we're awash in memories. What made Rhoda work? It was so successful, I and I mentioned that of all the, the highest ratings, you got the first episode. Yes, I, I was unaware of that statistic, too. That's terrific. Uh, I think writing, right, Julie? Writing. The writing that was, uh, and the cast was terrific. They mm -hmm. cast very carefully. Um, I, I don't mean just for myself. The character was already known from the time on Mary Tyler Moore Show. Yeah. And uh, Julie was an incredible find. I mean, just, uh, she was, you were working at, was it Kentucky Fried Theater? Or, uh, or, or just around the corner. <laughs> what, was, uh, what was the <laughs> Burbage, 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 Burbage Theater? Where is Theater? Kentucky Fried Theater? That's well, on Pico. Yeah. Oh, you mean in Los Angeles? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and, and Dave Davis mm -hmm. and a couple of people had seen her and said, we have to see this girl. So there she was. And she was very much, uh, along with Nancy Walker, um, co-stars. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was an ensemble piece. And I think that's, people love to see the family. It wasn't just Rhoda. Yeah, but Nancy and Julie had been on, what, the Mary Tyler Moore, had they not? No. Oh, I you had, no. Well, you Nancy had, was. No. Nancy oh, was see. already an established. Yeah. She was Character. established. Yeah. No. Oh. What memories <laughs> this brings that. forth. Yes. Hello. Oh. This is Carlton, the doorman. <laughs> Listen, I got your mother down here. Want me to send her up or what? <laughs> Oh, my, his mother? <laughs> they got your mother down there. <laughs> Wants to know if you can send her up. Uh, yeah. Don't she mention drove it. all the way <laughs> here. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Rhoda's mother, Ida Morgan Stern, Nancy Walker. <laughs> Thank you. Well, that voice, for uh, those of you who may have missed the initial episode of Rhoda, was uh, Carlton the Door, the doorman. That's right. And it was Lorenzo Music, Music who right. was the producer. Yeah, one correct? of the producers. And right. one of the writer. And it was by mistake. Writer? I guess yeah. he was filling in until you got he, somebody. He filled in on the in auditions when they were looking for their That's cast. Right. Nancy was already set for the show, but we were looking for, uh, actually, Julie, you were like one of the first people for the sister. And then they were looking for Joe and other characters. So he would read the scenes. And we thought, God, he sounds so terrific. That fuzzy little voice and kind and of nondescript and strange. And, and well, there was a sitcom yeah. anthology that uh, Larry Ferber, the producer, uh, gave to me to look through and in it it's, it's, goes to great detail about, I don't know how they got a long, long interview with you and a lot of the, the dialogue and so forth, one of which was when Ida would come, I guess came up to see you in the, in the apartment building, she says, by the way, there's a drunk in the lobby. Oh, yeah. you, better, you better tell the doorman. <laughs> that and is. You said that is the doorman. The doorman. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. We were yeah. just talking about what made Rhoda work. Well, I heard the word ensemble and I think it was ensemble work and writing. I've never... My God, what have I done? 17 shows on Broadway. I never had writing like that. Mm -hmm. Ever. Yeah. yeah. It was absolutely wonderful. But that, that was MTM's trademark, wasn't it? The, well, and the one writers. of the great things for an actor is you knew when you read it on Monday, no matter how wonderful it was, it was going to be better by Friday. Oh. They also, yeah. they also never stopped working on it. I remember times that Jim Brooks would say, uh, I, the audience was there, and he'd say, I got a new joke for the tag. Just, just try this, try this. Yeah, remember we would those change oh, you had a, live, you had a live audience. Oh, yeah. yeah. Live audience, and, and it they, was on film and in sequence. And then we'd do stuff like after the show. So there was creativity and improvisation coming from the writers. Exactly. At the moment. And they also, really, they tr treated it like theater. Gary, like yeah. each play, each time it was real important. They never phoned it in. They never said, well, that's good enough. Uh, they were wonderfully committed to us. But it must yeah. have been wonderful working under those conditions. Oh, it's it's optimum. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Now, it's okay. fine to have great writing, but you got to have people that deliver it. Now, Julie, you're Jewish, and yet you two, Ida and Rhoda are not Jewish, and yet you... I didn't and Rhoda were, Nancy and Val aren't. <laughs> no, I, what did I do, get it opposite? No, no, it's perfect. Huh? No, no, that's no, right. I, anyway, the point was that... that Apropos of that, please. My husband and I, two years ago, were in Milan. We walked into our hotel, into the salon, and there was a uh, TV set, and our show was on, and we looked Italian. 
it was wonderful. I mean, the hands were going, and we were screaming and crying. It was wonderful. Same in Spanish, too. You, you had, a, like, a monologue or something at the beginning of the first episode of, of Rhoda, and you explained yourself. Oh, yeah. Part of it was, I moved to Minneapolis because I couldn't find an apartment in New York. Right, exactly. And, and also, cold. the cold weather would keep me better. I'd keep better, yeah, getting yeah. to be 30 oh. there, yes. Yeah. Now... You came out of the Mary Tyler Moore show and suddenly you lost all this weight and you were really thin and you oh, were all that. pulled together. Oh, yeah, and... yeah, I did lose weight, but, but then... I, I, she always had a weight problem. Yeah. So we didn't do fat jokes, we did diet jokes. <laughs> you know, the <laughs> same venue, right, ladies? Yeah. <laughs> but didn't it, it just seemed to me that it had a lot of changes and it's, uh, it every did. season was different. You had yeah. a different yeah. you had different people in there and different... Uh... Oh, yeah, and then we moved to uh, the uh, costume shop. Mm -hmm. And then yeah. what I loved yeah, about it, Nancy changed. was on more shows. That was what I liked. Each year she did yeah. more and more because we sprung her from Macmillan <laughs> and Bounty. Now, you, <laughs> yes. now you've done Macmillan, you've done uh, Bounty. Everybody remembers you. Is it Rosie? Is Rosie well, the character's name? I hope you're still name? remembering. <laughs> well, it's on now. Yeah. No, but I'm I mean, they really remember I, you for uh, Ida. Uh, Macmillan and wife lapped over, I think, two or three years. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. uh, then we went clean. What should you say you're best remembered for? Not just because these two guys are no, here. No, I, I, I'm... It, uh, uh, people love Macmillan. Mm -hmm. uh, as much as they adore, it's an even Stephen yeah. setup. I can't really say one or the other. Uh, and uh, of course, it's interesting because they run both of these series in London. All uh, yeah, they do. Right. All right, yeah. I meant to ask you something about this. Did that? Because there has been some question about. It, did that in turn hurt Rhoda the fact that that Mary Tyler Moore went into syndication and you could watch her and all of well, except Julie. Oh, okay. At four o'clock in the afternoon, and then you could you had Rhoda on in the in the evening again. I don't, I don't think know if so. anybody's ever examined that. It was mm -hmm. I don't think so, oh. maybe you know. You were on what five years? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Mary's show. I was I was on it for four, and then left, and then the show went five years. Yeah. So it was nine years of the character, but you know. And Nancy, you were on the first year of Mary. Yes. 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 Yeah. Now, Julie, I just this morning in the paper, I saw something very very exciting that you're involved in at the moment. But what have you been doing since uh, Rhoda went off? Well, you know, Nancy was talking about doing theater, which is also where I come from, uh, that background. And I've been doing a lot of theater up in Canada. Mm -hmm. I did a, a show with Ray Buktanika, who was also on the, on, oh, on the Rhoda Benny. show. He played Benny. Uh, yeah. Playing Benny, the boyfriend. Right. And um, we did a show up in Edmonton and Calgary. And then I did another show in Winnipeg with Leo Burmester, who I did a pilot with uh, that... Uh, Nothing happened. <laughs> I enjoyed myself. <laughs> and doing the theater thing is great. Yes. It's always... Um, we all do that. I really love it. It gives... It gives. There is. It is such a different media, but it gives the actor a chance to really uh, experiment and try and make it new and fresh every night. Mm -hmm. And it was... I love doing it. All right, I now really let's talk it. about what I saw this morning. Yeah. And that was... You're in a Woody Allen film. Yeah, yeah, I am. It's still kind of unbelievable to me, but um, so tell us I'm about listed it. alphabetically in the cast. I know nothing <laughs> about the show other than I can't believe I'm actually going to do it. It's I like can. one of my Why dreams. Not? You're tremendously really talented. Yeah. He's lucky to have you. Woody, you're lucky to have her. Isn't it? <laughs> oh, yeah. Wasn't it uh, great that Julie could come by and we could all be here to help her with this? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> that is it's, exciting. Um, I guess if you got to pick somebody to work with or work unbelievable. for. Unbelievable. Right? You bet. Yeah. And Nancy's going to Broadway. You bet. Going to Broadway. Friend. Yeah. Again, where she came from. Why not Minneapolis? No. What are you going to do in... <laughs> show. Uh, Broadway yeah. musical. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Show. Yeah. yeah. It's good. Do you like that? Do you like the every night same... Same well, I, I was brought up that way, darling. I guess. You know, yeah. I, I don't really know about stop and do it again. I guess you need to do that every once in a while after doing television so, and yeah. films. Yeah. Totally okay. different type of work. Much it is. Amazing. Yeah. And you, Miss Rhoda. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm very, Valerie. I'm on the cusp, or the verge. I mean, it's really quite close to doing a new series. Yeah, with a wonderful writer, and it's in, it's that moment of, um, the network said yes, and now the lawyers are talking. You know that period, Gary? <laughs> yes. Now, so are it, you superstitious? About talking about what kind of character it is? Oh, I, it's just too soon. Oh, I'm telling right. you. In fact, this is okay. the first time I've mentioned it in public. So, you know. All right. Uh, well, if you need anything more, it's just a ask Larry it's Ferber. A half he knows hour everything. comedy, and it's 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 a. Uh, <laughs> this time, I think I'll be a mother. Oh, mom. Oh, that'd How do you be like fun. that? That's Ida's nice. dream that's come true. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> Thank you all for being here. This was such Thank fun. You. I wish we had more we time. We had such a ball yeah. doing the show. Thank you. Maybe this one and Rhoda. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Valerie, Julie, and Nancy.
Dr. Rosenfeld...